For this tutorial, we'll be working on Computer Science Discoveries Unit 2 Web Development Lesson 9, which is using images and the IMG tag. So for this first exercise, they want us to look at the code that makes the dog appear, and then use the image tag to add a cat.jpg to this page below the cat. So we look here, we've got this img src equals and then in quotes we got dog.jpg and then we have this alternate text which is going to be dog jumping so if for some reason the picture doesn't show up we would see dog jumping instead the words uh, we can also turn the inspector on and, and go directly over the picture and see that same code so what they want us to do here is go ahead and add a similar one for the cats so let's go just under the h3 heading hit enter we're going to do the left bracket and say img for image space src for source equals and the cat jpeg name in quotes is cat.jpeg make sure you spell it whatever way it's written over here all right and then let's give it an alternate text so alt equals cat picture okay we can we can use whatever alternate text we want to describe the image and then I'm going to close it with a right angle bracket so the image tag we don't need like an opening and closing image tag it's just one full tag so let's look here and we've got the cat so next one for exercise two they want us to go ahead and add information about where the image came from and its license okay so if we look here we've got for the dog we've got looks like who created it or who took the picture and then the license here Wikimedia Commons OGL so let's do the same for the cats so we're gonna say Alexis photos okay so how did they do it here just a paragraph it looks like so we'll do the same thing here and then Let's just say let's just copy these here. Virtual use and no attribution required. And then we'll close out our paragraph tag. All right. Here we go. So let's go ahead and move to the next one. So for this one, they want us to fix any image tags that are uh, causing a problem. We see here this little paper that looks like a got a ripped up piece of paper in here, image. That means the image is not working properly. So instead, it's giving us this alternate text, red sky, green grass, and blue islands. So we just need to go over here, and if we turn on our inspector, uh, that can help find where the code's at. We just hover over it, and it shows the code over here. So IMG SRC equals red.jpg, but if we look over here, the name is red underscore sky.jpg. So let's go ahead and fix that. Red underscore sky. There we go, that fixed it. Let's move to the next one. If we look at the inspector, we see green grass. So IMG space SRC equals grass.jpg. And what is the grass? Oh, it looks like capital J, capital P, capital G. So that's different than what's showing up here. So you have to make sure the case and the spelling is, is exactly the same as the image over here. It won't work. So that fixed it. And let's look at Blue Islands. And we've got blu.jpg versus blue. So let's just fix that. It makes it Make it match. And now our three images are working just great. So for this next one, they want us to uh, fix the name of these of the images here and take away any of these characters here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And if there's any spaces spaces in the name of the image, they want us to just use a dash or an underscore instead. So let's go ahead and rename these. So we've got, let's look at this. You can right click and hit rename. I don't even know what this image is. Let's see if we can look at it. That is, uh, it looks like a tree frog maybe. So let's right click and say rename tree 
underscore frog. And then if we've got an Okay, so let's go ahead and fix this one. So we'll right click and rename. We'll take out this uh, walking fish part. So that should be enough for the name. And then fire salamander. Let's take out the exclamation point. And then let's go to the Connie Bush frog and rename that one. And let's just put an underscore. So we can't have spaces in the naming. That's going to cause a problem. So let's look at this one. We've got paratype of a. Um, wow. That is a long name. Okay, so let's just do this. And I'm just going to say small frog. That makes it easier. There we go. And now that we've fixed all the names, we can go ahead and just add one of these. So I'm going to add the tree frog. So if I go over to the index.html, I'm going to, let's say, uh, do an h2 tree frog just to give it a little information here and then we'll do the image tag so img space src equals and then in quotes we're going to go ahead and choose this tree frog we're going to say alt equals green tree frog so the alt text uh, can have spaces in it so that's not a problem um, and then let's just give the image attribution. So if we look over here to the tree frog, we can say see see if we can have any information about that. Okay, so down below the instructions are a bunch of information for each image. Um, so let's go ahead and grab this information, copy it, and we'll go back over to the index.html, and then we'll do a paragraph tag for this text uh, that gives proper attribution for the image. So now it's showing up as who created the image and what license we've got for it. So you just need to add one of the pictures and add the attribution. So for the next exercise, uh, they want us to go ahead and find a different pet that we like and save it and then add an image. So let's go ahead and do that. So the best way I think to do this would probably go to, uh, let's go to creativecommons.org and that way we can find out what kind of licensing that we can use. So up here at the top we can search for CC images and I'm going to search for rabbit and let's see what we've got here. Okay, I like this one here. This one we've got credit the creator and share adaptations under the same terms. So we've got and we'll just copy this here. Actually, we can hit the copy button too. All right, so that's the information we'll need about the image to give proper attribution. And then we can just go ahead and let's go to the, we can right click here and save image as. And let's save this as. wild underscore rabbit. We'll save that. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and find my wild rabbit. Open that up. Okay, so now it's there. I can go ahead and close this out. And now we've got dogs, cats, and then let's go underneath the cats. And let's say h3, and we'll say rabbits. We'll close this out with an h3 so it's matching the others. And then I'm going to Go img space src equals, and then let's get the quotes in and click on wild rabbit, and that will add the rabbit. And then we're going to go ahead and do a paragraph tag with that uh, attribution that we copied. So I copied this from the Creative Commons page. So now if we look down here, we've got the rabbits, we've got a picture of the rabbit, and the information. Now the rabbit picture is large, but uh, you can change that with um, either HTML or CSS later on.